How do you, how you feel uh, everything uh, went in the joint practice today? I know you all were excited to get down here and get sure. some work in. How, how did it go? I thought it went well. I thought it went well. It was really good work for both sides. Um, I can't thank Ryan Flores and Chris Greer enough for agreeing to do this. Uh, you know, this is really good work for us. Like I said, I mean, tomorrow we'll see how we come back and respond. But I thought it was a very productive day in, in all three phases. Yeah, how did the line hold up? We It looked like they held up, um, but sure. you know, we haven't broken down the film yet. Either. Right, yeah. You know, and then so it, it's always hard to judge, you know, the runs. You know, you're, you're trying to judge until he really gets, you know, thought, uh, tagged off there. So those are a little, uh, can be deceiving. And then you want to go back and look at the tape, see how we were how we blocked in their, in their combinations, but uh, it was good. It's hot, it's what we wanted. That's why I wanted to come down here. We had a few guys cramp, but overall, I thought we got out here uh, relatively healthy. And the two minute work at the end looked like the offense scored twice and, and got a stop on one of them. Uh, yeah. How'd you uh, evaluate the two minute offense sure. and defense? Again, take it with a grain of salt because you can't hit, you know, we're not tackling the quarterback, we're not tackling, so you don't know on some of the sidelines, but you give and take, you know, if they tag off on the sideline, then you keep the clock running. But, we're working into half. I thought it was a really good operation. Um, really all around, you know, they grinded out. Even their, that second group of defense, it was a good grinded out drive. But you can't get enough of that work. How have you liked how Matt and Kyle have kind of connected so far through, through training camp? Well, it's really Matt and all, all the guys. You know, every year, um, more times than not, there's always kind of change in the NFL. That's the way that the world free agency and the way that the contracts are set up. So yeah. that, that's an every year thing. Obviously, you have a little more history with, with Ridd and, and Russell. But I think with, with all those guys, with Hayden, Kyle, Tajay, all those guys we're throwing in there, I think it's it's coming along. But Pitzik seems like every time he's kind of on the field, there's like a the window of opportunity to throw to him seems like it's a little bit longer, or a little bit bigger than some other guys out there. Do you sense that? How do you kind of tell Matt and BB? Not rely on it too much, that, or take that for granted. I don't granted. feel like he has. I, you, know, okay. you don't want to force things. Um, obviously, we got a lot of guys that we think can can win and get open. And so, you know, we're not. Uh, I call it '90s NBA isolation basketball. Yeah. So, obviously, Kyle's a piece of the puzzle, but uh, we feel good about the guys we got out there. Uh, Calvin, Russ, Oz, all those guys. Christian Blake, Tajay, Bro, uh, and obviously Hayden, Kyle. Uh, you see all these guys. We threw Johnny Rain in there, and, and I thought he responded. So we're trying to build that chemistry with everybody in the pass game and the running backs as well. I think basketball was the most fun. By, by the it way. was. I kind of liked some of the fouls. You watch the last dance, you forget how, how physical it was. Really, the 80s, too, when you get the smoke going to the there basket. Man, beer may have uh, taken you down like a, like a cheap folding table. John Andrews, he's got crash. Cramp. He'll fuck. He'll be all right. It, it, I always look at this. You can look at it you know, a couple different ways. I always look at an opportunity because that's real life in the NFL, right? If that happens week one, guy goes down the first series of the game or cramps during the game, well, the next guy, that's what you know. You hope that you get there's lessons learned and there's value in mixing and matching guys because that is reality, right? So then the next guy's got to be able to step up and you got to go operate. So this opportunity came up. Thankfully, it wasn't anything serious, just a cramp, and uh, I thought the guys handled it well. Well, I was on the other field, so um, I didn't get to really see him live until the end there. I was with the offense, so I'd have to watch the tape. But again, I, I, there was a lot of good players in this year's draft. Uh, Jalen was one of them, so um, again, I, I, I was on the other field. So, right. how do you think he did? I did all right. All right. Well, what was your impression of him coming out? Good player. I think they had two really talented guys at Alabama. Uh, we, you know, we'll see his counterpart week one. When, when, you, when you hit the stage of your career that, that Matt has, there might be questions about, you know, to maintain the level he has in the past. What did you see out of him at the time? Yeah, I, I look at Matt Ryan as, as a true professional. You know, a lot of people throw that word around. It could be a very subjective term, but that's what Matt is. And hell, in our division, he's, he's probably one of the younger guys. I think with Brady. But, uh, that's a credit to Tom. I mean, he's, he's the ultimate outlier himself. But uh, no, it's been fun working with Matt. He takes great care of himself. I thought today, you know, coming down here is very productive. As you get a, get against a different scheme, uh, different players, and in a, in a great environment. 
are there policies you've been asked? Because I know a lot of times coaches speak to each other in terms of scripting the practice, what they want to see. Um, what you and Flo talked about, did you guys get like, hey, offensive line, we want to see these looks or things like that? Or are they surprising you? With, no, with we just have good we... communication. Like I said, I, I wanted to work with these guys. I think it's one of the better staffs and programs. I got a ton of respect from afar. I don't know these guys well, Flo and, and Josh Boyer, but obviously they got, you know, Dean's got a lot of history with them and got to know them and gone against, you know, gone against some coaching. Um, but you like to get the work in with the programs you respect. You didn't see a lot of BS out here. It was good work. Uh, we try to be pretty easy. You know, we're down here in Miami. We're, we're the guest. Flo, get me the schedule. Get me the schedule. I said, you good with it? I said, I'm great with it. I said, here's what we're going to do. I said, good, here's what we're going to do. And we came down here and did it. So we didn't try to micromanage anything. So, uh, and I appreciate those guys for setting this up. Coach Jason anything... uh, Spriggs, how did uh, Spriggs do? Yeah, yeah I mean, snap chance judgment. Chance I mean, he's a tough dude, man. He, uh, I, thought, I thought he came out here and competed well today. Mm -hmm. Hey, right, man, good to see you. What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> How many years have been out here now? <laughs> Three years. Big change from Nashville. It is. Yeah. It's still hot, though. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Um, is there anything that Kyle does at this point that surprises you? You know, like I said, I, we got a very versatile skill group. Um, I said, I, I, you know, they're all different. Like Kyle's skill set's different than Hayden's, but they all got it in red. The way he runs is different than Russell. Um, but all those guys, they're in there competing. We're just trying to find roles for him, and, and he's done a nice job what we've thrown at him so far. I couldn't notice but know that your D-line front had seemed like it had a pretty good day. Um, where is that, that growth, growth uh, as a group? Well, we got some good veterans over there, um, you know, starting with Grady. Uh, he, he's, he's a real dude, and I mean that in the highest compliment. Comes out here, works, tries to compete, get better. Doesn't rest on anything he's done in the past. You got to prove it every every year in the NFL, really every week. And Stephen Means. I mean, you got some vets in there. Tyler Davison. It's good to have Dante back out there. And you mix in some of these young guys in there competing. So I, I, you know, it's it's hard for me. When Michael asked me a question, I believe right? And it's just I haven't. I have to watch the tape because I was over with the offense today. Yeah. I want to ask you about Ridley. Um, it seemed like. Every other year he's been here, it's been two ones, not so much just a third cut. I think he's that talented. Uh, now him being kind of the number one receiver, has he taken on anything a little extra? Is he, how's his motivation like this year going in? Yeah, I, I don't put the labels on the guys. I mean, yeah. I think it naturally happens. Uh, I know that's, you know, it's you look at it a couple of ways. That's become a thing because fantasy football is so big, and it's yeah. great for the league. Really, it is. Um, but, you know, I just I don't put the labels. Hey, who's tight end one? Who's wide out one? Uh, Running back one. I mean, obviously the quarterback's pretty obvious. But the rest of those guys, we 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 got a lot of versatile pieces and guys that step up, and uh, we we expect Calvin to have a productive year. He was trying to ask if he should draft Calvin. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was already taken. I trust. Yeah. Me, I have a huge family. I get, I get I've been ripped before. <laughs> so we call plays to win the game. You know, it's like I had so and so on, on my fantasy team. I had Johnny last year, and I'm like, we all get it. He just reminded me I had Cage last year, so. Oh. oh. How much do you hear from him? No, I mean, jokingly, I mean, you never know. I mean, I've got a huge family, so I mean, nothing would surprise you. Probably anybody is dealing with friends and family. I mean, it's, it's a joking text. manner. But. Right. What's the weirdest one you've got? What's the weirdest thing that you've gotten? Like, where you're just like, are you kidding me? Yeah, like it's like if somebody's going to play. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thinking, that's a good one. I don't plan to be the smartest one. I'm not that tall. So. Yeah. That, that'll get you a nice little phone call. Yeah. No, hey, no. Real, real quick, uh, Ogan Dagey, uh, we saw on film from him. Um, after the, the game last week, it seemed like he, he played fairly well. He did. Uh, you know, there was a couple moments there where him and Richie both made a mistake early. They were able to fix it, correct it, saw it again, and they did a nice job the second time they saw it. And that's what you want to see when you want to see true growth and improvement. I thought that uh, both those guys did a nice job last week. Great. Thanks, guys. Thank you all. Appreciate you guys coming down here.